Hey everyone, I'm Dirty at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if the Xbox app is not launching games in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane and then on the right side click on the blue check for updates button. Now Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC and then install them automatically. Afterwards, you can restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to update the Xbox app. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Store and select Microsoft Store from the search results. In the Microsoft Store app, make sure to click on the Library button in the lower left corner, and afterwards, the last thing you have to do is simply click on the blue Get Updates button. Now the application will scan for any newer versions of the Xbox app. After installing that newer version, just restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to disable the game mode. To do this, press the Windows button and select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on the gaming section on the left pane and then on the right side click on the third option that says game mode. Now in here the only thing you have to do is simply disable the toggle for the game mode so click on it to disable it. Lastly, you can close the settings window, restart your PC and check if the issue is solved. You can also restart the Xbox services and gaming services. To do this, press the Windows button and simply type services and select it as an application from the search results. As you can see, the list is quite big, so if you want to find a specific service, just click on a random one, then simply type the letter that corresponds to the service you're looking for. In our case, G from gaming services. Now just locate the gaming services, right click on it and select the restart option from the context menu. Similarly, you can locate all the Xbox services in here. Again, just right click on these services, but in this case, click on the start option. In this case, you will start the Xbox services and then you can close this window and restart your PC for the changes to take place. Another useful solution is to repair or reset the gaming services app. To do this, press the Windows button and select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here under the app list just click on the search box and type in gaming and then find gaming services. As soon as you found the gaming services in the apps that were found, just click on the ellipses next to it and select advanced options. Now in the advanced options window, scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by repairing the application. If you click on the repair button, the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't work properly, you can also reset the app. So click on the reset button, but in this case, the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Now you can close the settings window, restart your PC and check if the issue is solved. And lastly, another useful solution is to modify the registry. To do this, press the Windows button and simply type Reg Edit and select Registry Editor from the search results. Now in the Registry Editor window, you have to navigate to the following path. H key Local Machine, afterwards double click on System, then expand Current Control Set, afterwards double click on the Services key, and lastly just locate the Gaming Services. Scroll down until you find the Gaming Services and click on it. Now just right click on this key and select the delete option. Now you can just confirm the key delete by pressing on the yes button. Afterwards what you have to do is simply locate the gaming services net and as well right click on it and select the delete option. Again confirm the key delete by pressing on the yes button and afterwards you can close the registry editor, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.